My name is Yogi. I'm here in Las Vegas. This is where I live at and everything. I'm from Los Angeles, but I'm here in Las Vegas because we're representing the Green Vegas Project, which is we're doing crowdfunding from the general public in support of having responsible research development and licensing of cannabis sightseeing companies here in Las Vegas, particularly the Green Strip the Green Strip Wellness Crawl, that's the main company, but it's about bringing responsible tourism here to Las Vegas, sightseeing tourism. Because there's a lot of companies that's gonna start up doing tours, doing all kinds of things, and we want the best presentation available for Vegas. And you're offering free gift. That sounds kind of shady. What's the free gift? Well, actually, there's nothing shady about it because marijuana is legal here in Las Vegas now. Here in Nevada, recreational marijuana is. It's legal for someone to give as a gift marijuana from one person to another so long as they're at least 21 years of age or older. Okay, so if I make a donation right now, I, have $20. I got I got $20 on me. I can show you my EDC ID, right? Yes, I, I'm sure. 21. Yeah. See that I'm born in 82 or California. just turned 35. Yeah, California ID. Sure. And I, and I I've uh, you know, I've been a long time pro marijuana activist. I've been arrested for marijuana civil disobedience. Right. So I am absolutely happy to support your cause. For 20 bucks, Dude, what, what, awesome. what's my free gift? Well, for your $20 donation towards the Green, the Green Vegas Project, and as you can see right here, we give you this card to explain exactly what's going on. Because part of it is making sure people know exactly what they're giving their money to. Because it's voluntary. We want you to contribute with full knowledge to where this money is going. So for your donation of $20 toward the Green Vegas Project, see what I got here for you. Boom. A hey, gift. How about that? That a is nice a beautiful little gift. gift. That is a that is a beautiful gift. And as the donation levels get higher soon on our website, in about another week or so, you'll be able to donate more through the website because we can't do the legal federal laws. We can't uh, actually send marijuana through wait, the wait, mail. Did we just break a federal? No. Uh, I'm breaking a federal law right now, aren't I? Not at all. Let me explain that to you. The Federal government allow each state to govern themselves in regards to marijuana. And because of that, it's no longer being prosecuted by the federal government aggressively. Now, when it's you still illegal, though. On a federal level. But on a state level, each state is allowed to govern how they feel about it so long as it's been voted. Proposition 2 was voted yes here in Nevada, so recreational marijuana is very legal here in Nevada. So this is a really weird example now of, of a legal gray area where, like, yeah. technically it's federally illegal, but you don't they don't enforce it. I mean, this is this is crazy. Like, what is what does this tell you about government and the drug war? And, and, and the, the, you got to like you got to You got to in order to sell weed on this. Wait, no, you're not in order to what are we doing? In order, <laughs> selling marijuana on the street is very illegal. Again, people don't have a cause. They out here selling drugs, and they try to justify their cause to buy personal things. This is not a personal issue. This is more of a community issue, a marijuana community-based issue. People out here do smoke. There is recreation. People, recreational users everywhere. Some are in hiding, you know, because laws. But now the states woke up and say, hey, you know what, realistically, it's, it's not going to kill anyone. You know what I mean? So you're not worried at all about cops giving you a hard time for anything out here? Not at all. Because number one, I don't sell marijuana. Number two, all the funds and proceeds to what we're doing, all that we're collecting, it definitely goes to a worthwhile project that they can find. So what does this whole sort of like silly kind of jump through hoop scenario tell you about government in general or the drug war in general? Number one, it's unfortunate that they're putting our country through it because it's unnecessary. It could just be flat out truth from one end of the table to the other. I'm sure we could get a lot more accomplished that way. But what it also tells me is that do your research. You know what I mean? If you watch TV, then you're misinformed. <laughs> and if you don't watch TV, you're uninformed. So, you know, pick up. The we got the Internet. Hey, and the internet never lies. <laughs> I think that's my book. favorite Abraham Lincoln quote, the internet never lies. Yeah, you know, it's got to pick up a book, you know what I mean? Excuse me. Got to do a little bit of research, you know what I mean? Don't just listen to everything. Verify, fact check, like they should do our current president. Fact check <laughs> everything, you know what I mean? Don't let nothing just 
be at face value. You can't no more. Your life depends on it. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for your good work, no sir. Is there, is there anything else you want people to know about your pro-marijuana activism or in, in general here in, in Nevada? Number one, the Green Strip Wellness Crawl, thegreenstrip.com. That's number one. Number two, hey, you know what? Have an open mind. Just because you don't necessarily smoke yourself, be open-minded. It might be something you do that the next person don't do, and I'm sure you're going to want them to have an open mind as well. So just be open-minded, you know what I mean? Don't condemn anyone for something you don't necessarily condone. Speaking of being open-minded, a lot of people today, now that marijuana has become so widespread and acceptable, are like okay with that because they see people doing it, they hear people you know, having positive experiences with it for medical purposes, but do you support the legalization of all drugs? No. You said earlier when you saw my tattoo that said USMC, thank you for your service. What did you mean by that? Thank you so much, hey, sir. No hey, problem, hey let me hit you up one more because you know what? I probably cost you another sale taking so much of your time hey, here. It's all another good, donation. Man. Yeah. Excuse me. It's not a problem, man. Not a problem. Hey, look, like I said before, all we want is for people to understand that tourism is big out here and we want safe tourism. We want people awesome. to have reasonable, responsible tourism. This is Adam Kokesh. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and support this production by going to patreon.com slash adamkokesh.